let's look at a gas phase equilibrium. The equilibrium between NO2, a brown gas, and N2O4, the dimer, which is a clear gas. They're in equilibrium here in this flask, and you can see the brown gas. Now, if I look at this equilibrium, we have NO2 going to N2O4. The equilibrium constant is 6.8, approximately, for this equilibrium at 25 degrees C. Now, 6.8, the equilibrium expression is products over reactants. So since the equilibrium constant is larger than 1, the products are slightly favored, in this case, over the reactants. So the products slightly favored. Even though those products are slightly favored, you can see there are reactants, that's the brown gas that we can see, are still present at equilibrium. There's an interchange between these two. The rate of the forward reaction and reverse reaction are the same, but we have both NO2 and N2O4 present at equilibrium. The difference in free energy between N2O4 and NO2 at equilibrium is zero. There's no free energy penalty to switch interchange between products and reactants. And so they do so back and forth with no energy penalty. That's the nature of equilibrium. You can go between products and reactants because the free energy doesn't change as you do that. Delta G is zero for equilibrium systems. This reaction happens to be exothermic, and we could have predicted that because what's happening here is a bond is being formed. You're going from a monomer to a dimer. A nitrogen-nitrogen bond turns out to be what is exactly formed here. But even without knowing where the bond is, you can tell there's a bond formation, and bond formations are always exothermic. It always takes energy to break bonds, and energy is always released when I make bonds. So this is a bond making, a bond formation. That's exothermic. I can write the expression for the reaction quotient, the pressure of the products, N2O4, over the pressure squared of the reactants, squared because the stoichiometric coefficients appear as powers in my reaction quotient expressions. This reaction quotient expression will equal K, 6.8, at 25 degrees C, at equilibrium. If we measured the pressure of N2O4 here and NO2 in this flask and formed this ratio, we would get about 6.8, because we're at about 25 degrees C here in the studio. So reaction quotients, given enough time, will equal reaction constants. The equilibrium constants. They'll remain at equilibrium because at equilibrium, no free energy difference between the products and reactants. They interchange freely. It's a dynamic equilibrium, but it's one where K is constant. And remember, regardless of the starting conditions, I'll achieve this K. So I could start with all NO, N2O4, and I would reach an equilibrium where I'd produce some NO2 such that the equilibrium constant would be 6.8. Or I could start with all NO2, and I'd produce some N2O4 such that this ratio at 25 degrees continues to be 6.8. That's the nature of equilibrium, a balance between free energy and a constant value we call the equilibrium constant.